And they're like, uh, why are you pro-Russia? I am not pro-Russia. I'm pro not having World War III. But I'm already digressing. My point here is tying all this together is that it's now coming out that, of course, the National Security Agency and Defense Intelligence and NORTHCOM and Space Command, of course, they're spying on Dianne Feinstein. Of course, they're spying on Ron Paul. They're spying on Matt Drudge. They're spying on anyone of consequence. They're spying on the local megachurch preacher. They're, they're not just spying. They're feeding everything into giant, artificially intelligent supercomputers that are then modeling what you're going to do and then integrating it with everyone else is going to do to literally know the future. Over the horizon, true crystal ball, palantir control. This is the end of free will, the end of civilization as we know it. The end of humans being truly sentient and involved in the real world and informed. Because you take away privacy and you take away free will, where Amazon knows what you're going to order before you order it, they can then put in the stimuli into the equation to control the future, not just predict the future. First you predict the future, then you control the future, and they're very close to controlling the future. That's what this grid is. They knew the internet would be used for liberty. They knew it would be used uh, in an attempt to restrain power. They, but, but, but the globalists know that they're in a race technologically with everyone else in the system, and so they all want to obtain the unattainium. They all want to get that godlike power to a great extent to be able to predict the future. They all want to be able to get those life extension technologies. Can you imagine the globalists, what they want? All the old rich people, what do you think they're into? Living longer. Because if you can live 20 years longer, they believe technologies will be developed where you can live 100 years longer. And if you can live 100 years longer, you can live 1,000 years longer. This is the Elysium golden fields of the demigods. Not my words, theirs. This is the program. This is the reality. We're going to skip this network break. And this is the real world. And I'm just someone who wants you to know what's going on because I believe it's a destructive path we're on because only the worst people, the most controlling people, only the most jealous, envious, covetous, selfish people are running things. And if we had angels, good angels, better angels running this, it would probably turn into a disaster and destroy free will. This will unleash abomination desolation the, the 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 psych warfare technologies the dehumanization smart grid smartphone tv systems are already mesmerizing people and sucking them into their television sets sucking them into their iphones sucking them in imagine it and i want somebody to create an animation of this out there i know there's great animators listening i need people to create this don't count on somebody else do it where it shows someone in an evolution from, say, 1947 with the widespread rollout of televisions and the entire culture changing, where you have people rolling the television into the house and the family goes from the dinner table and the kids go from playing outside to now living around the television and changing how you even eat food, packaged space food, TV dinners, in front of the television, being inserted into a false reality, being bombarded five, six, seven hours a day with messages of the establishment that at first were quite wholesome, but only to hook people. This was all done scientifically. Eber Bernays and others are on record, not my opinion. And so imagine the animation. They're all sitting around the table. They're outside playing. Kids are on their bikes. They're building forts. They're looking at the stars. They're, 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 they're fishing in the creek. They're, you know, kissing a girl for the first time when they're 12. They're getting in a fist fight. They're living. They're humans. And now, within years, 
they, within just a few years, suddenly everyone has a television set. It's a sign of status if you have two television sets by 1955. You're suddenly living around the television. You're suddenly getting home. You're now not in the real world. You're entering the proto-matrix. This is the proto-matrix. Suddenly, they all gravitate around the television. The flicker rate designed and picked in animal and human studies to put you into a suggestible, hypnotized, sus suspended disbelief, false reality. This is literally the key. People are in a trance. I can't state that enough. That's it. That's why they're so dumb. That's why you can't get through to them. That's why they're so suggestible. I don't even try to be manipulative now, and I can just walk directly up to police and basically start programming them. I can walk up to women and start programming them, start talking to them, literally using basic systems that they use in television, and the people literally go back into trances, and I'm not even a hypnotist, and I've never even studied it. Identification. You don't need to see his identification. We don't need to see his identification. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He can go about his business. You can go about your business. Move along. Now, again, I mentioned police because they're about the hardest on average because they actually live in the real world. And I'm not glorifying police here. They actually live in the real world, see what's going on. They're not watching a lot of television. They're having to interact with people. They're having to deal with all sorts of crises constantly. And so that's why I say police are more awake than anybody in the country on average except for the military. And the military is awake because they've seen the corruption. They've seen arms and legs blown off. They've seen dead kids. They've seen the bid rigging. They've seen the, 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 what goes on at the military bases. They've seen people getting killed at the bases that talk about the drug dealing. They've, they've been hired by the CIA to carry out hits. They live in the real world. That's how naive the public is. They're like children. But even the police now are suggestible. And I can just organically, watching the tricks on television now, go out and talk to the public and you can see who's conscious, who's unconscious. And the globalists study this. They invented this. They, it's incredible. So my response to it is to have zero manipulation. Just be 100% up front with folks on how this is working and what's going on. Because even if someone's in a subconscious state, they subconsciously are hearing this now and will work through the data and start seeing how they're being manipulated, how they're in a trance. The only way to wake people up now, I realize, is not to even show them data and facts and proof because they'll just call you a conspiracy theorist because that's the hypnotic trance word that means disregard, don't look at this. Oh, that person says don't trust a system that's known for lying. This person says think outside the box, think for yourself. That's a heretic. And I realize... that everything is about getting people to take the red pill and just for themselves see what's around them. You're never going to tell them about it. You, they've got to see it. What did Morpheus say to Neo? One cannot be told about the matrix. And by the way, all I'm offering is the truth before you take that red pill. You say you're taking it, all I'm offering is the truth. But I gotta tell you folks, it's like weightlifting. I'm getting back into weightlifting, getting back into shape. It, it just feels so good. And when I get like dumbbells, 20-pound dumbbells on a bench press are, are heavier than 60, 70, 100-pound dumbbells. Because I'm not used to lifting a light weight from muscle memory 20 years ago. I'm used to lifting a heavy weight. And it's the same thing. It's like an atmosphere. It's like a plant that isn't in the wind, that isn't in the rain, will not thrive. A plant that's in the wind and rain will grow and thrive from the pressure. What do they say? Pain is weakness leaving the body. Well, it's the same thing mentally. You're meant to be in the real world. Your ancestors, folks, drove mastodons off cliffs so they could eat them. Our ancestors fought tigers and lions and big cats and cave bears twice the size of a grizzly bear. Humans with spears and rocks would, would go and, sl and, and, and kill big bears. Bears ran from humans. Polar bears ran from humans. Everything reared. <laughs> and, 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 and humans could look up and see the stars and, 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 and invent systems to track them and 
and literature and art and everything. And look what we've been turned into because this is we're all being killed by the softness, killed by the domestication. We are being sucked in to the dehumanizing evil and, and, and the animation. The animation that I want people to come up with you shouldn't have to have a contest. People pay people ten thousand dollars, even though it's great. You should do it for humanity. Do it for art. That's how we'll defeat the tyrants. Is is giving the human art, the human spirit, expression to jam the culture wave of the mind control that would have to take our free will, dumb us down, and put us in a trance to control us. That is the ultimate sin against free will. God gives us free will. The enemy, the devil. The deceiver, the accuser, get behind me, Satan. What does Satan do? Gets in front of you on our road to the stars. Satan gets in front of human development. Satan only gives us mutated technologies and mutated systems that control us and dumb us down in an attempt to play God and build an artificial system to predict the future. The devil doesn't have omnipresence. The devil is trying to use humans made in the image of God to build a God machine to be able to understand the future and decipher everything. The devil only knows how to con people and manipulate people because he is a magician. He is a deceiver. He is a fraud. He is a lie. He is not one, one trillionth what the creator is. To hell with the devil. Straight to the pit with Satan. Down with Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Get behind me, Satan. Down with the devil. Down with the fraud. Get out of the road. Get behind me. You understand that? Get out of the road, New World Order. Get out of my mind. Get out of my free will. Get out of my way. Humanity is going interstellar. And, 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 and this great challenge of the devil and the smartphones and the NSA and the culture destroying and the chemicals in the water and the war on the family, it's all coming down. It's all going down. It's the test. We're going through the fire, in, through, and beyond, in the animating contest of liberty. The devil doesn't give you the animating contest. The devil lies and tells you that he gave you what God gave you. God gave you your gifts. God gave you your power. The devil lies and says, sell your soul to me and I will give you gifts. The devil will do nothing but pervert the gifts of the creator. We are made, think about that, in the image of the master builder, the supreme architect of the universe. And the idiots will go, that's a Masonic. No, the Bible says the heavens are the handiwork, the signature. Of course they are. All of it. This whole creation. And we are made in the image and the likeness in our mind, in our body, in our form of the supreme entity that has built the entire interdimensional system that our minds cannot even begin to imagine. And the devil has a good idea of that, and the devil wants that, because the devil is never a maker. The devil is a taker, and a twister, and a counterfeiter from the beginning, and a fraud with a false light of black sunshine. And I've got a lot of news to cover, but when it comes down to the final equation, the NSA, of course it's spying on us, and they got caught lying. Of course it's spying politically to control people. Of course they're spying on the Associated Press. Of course it's illegal. Of course it's all a fraud. And it's all meant to shudder your consciousness. It's all meant to keep you from being empowered. It's all meant to rob you of the absolutely holy vision that we experience on a tiny scale of the Creator to commune with the Creator of the universe, whose creation is a giant, hundred dimensional gate into other worlds. 
that the eye has not seen, the ear has not heard what is in store. It's Spaceship Earth. Your body is nothing. We're on the mark.